Hey, we're always excited to bring you new businesses that are coming to Southern Indiana, and today is no exceptions. I have with me Chris Furlow, who is the owner and chief development officer of Green District, and they are having a grand opening this weekend. Chris, thank you so much for joining us today. Uh, Mike, it's my pleasure. I appreciate you reaching out and uh, being a fellow Southern Indiana guy. I uh, I want to make sure that we uh, reach out to as many people as we can and spread the good word of salads. Yeah, well, look, we're always excited to have new new businesses, especially new restaurants here in Southern Indiana. But, but let's just dive right in. Green District, uh, for those who are going to walk through your doors for the first time, what, sh what should they expect? Yeah, so I kind of give one of you a quick answer. Um, so Green District is obviously a salad restaurant. That's what we base it around. We're a quick service restaurant, and we're, um, we're redefining what fast food healthy options are. And that's why we originally started this concept. Uh, my business partner, Jordan, and then Matt Petty as well. Um, we started this because there was lack of options, lack of quick food on the go, you know. Once you start getting into your family routines and work and travel and, you know, it might be little league baseball or soccer, it's, it's hard. And so, you know, we figured New York gets all the cool concepts, you know, they had sweet greens, they had chopped West coast, they had their, you know, it was little, even Chicago didn't and a little old Louisville didn't really have much. So that's why we started this concept to be like selfishly, you know, being trying to stay athletic as we grow older, it's like this was an option for us. So we started it out in 2017 um, and we've evolved and grown and we've been very fortunate from the response of the consumers. Mm -hmm. the, the demand is there for healthy eating on the go that's fast. So essentially what we say, Green District is salads, wraps, grain bowls, a scratch kitchen. So it's all made in-house, fresh daily. Um, and it just, we want to elevate the salad game. We want to make sure that people understand that it can be delicious. It can be healthy, it can be affordable. You can be there daily and just, you know, get on with your day basically and feel healthy and happy about what you've been eating. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, and something you said there, uh, you know, as a father of four, who's got kids and soccer and, and all That's kinds right. of things, it's not hard to find something fried and greasy Oh, you it's guys are providing something that is that is a healthy option for people on the go. Exactly. And that's, again, selfishly <laughs> why we're doing this space, because, you know, we are over um, the Little League over in New Albany. Uh, I think we're there starting out tonight. I think they were there every like six nights a week between the three kids. And then SIU soccer, we're there probably another five nights a week. So we're kind of like just juggling everything. Right. Um, but, and that's the selfishly, we can pick up some quick food for me and my wife and whoever else. And, you know, we don't have to eat the cheeseburger or hot dogs every night. So we're yeah. happy. Well, I used to joke with my wife, uh, you know, my favorite, my favorite kinds of food are Italian and concession stand because there you go. That's you know, <laughs> from, from March to, to, uh, November, it seems like that's pretty know. much it. Right. You, you have no options because it's such a race and traffic and meeting games and everything else. You're like, Ah, let me just go grab, I guess I can grab some nuggets or a hot dog or a cheeseburger or so. But but I want to mention as well is that why a little bit closer to our heart, if you will, is this is where it all started kind of. So Jordan Depke and I, so we run Green District. He's the CEO and I'm the CDO. We founded it in 2017. However, we met right at Providence High School coaching soccer. So I was a coach there and his... Uh, his cousin um, was fi finishing his final year at Providence. And so he reached out to us and saying, hey, you know, so my, you know, he just moved from Colorado. His cousin was finishing out his high school year. He'd love to come and help out coaching. And so me and him just connected and we've stayed friends ever since. And 10 years later, we're starting out Green District. And now, well, we three, four, five years later, here we are growing some kind of mini empire, we feel like. So it's kind of nice that uh, it's it's right where it started, you know. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Well, so so for people who who have never experienced a Green District uh, before, what what is that dining experience like? I know you said it's it's kind of quick service on the go, but when they're in the restaurant, uh, is there sit down? What what does that look like? Yeah, so every restaurant is a little bit more unique. Uh, we're trying to give it more of a local feel. So we have local artists come in, and there's some really cool artwork in the Veterans Parkway store. 
Uh, so you'll have to check that out. But what we want to do is make it more of a comfortable vibe, kind of like a coffee shop does. And, and so as they go through line, we have signature salads, what we call them. Um, this is on the legendary menu. So if you want like a Greek salad, if you want a Southwest salad, we have a Thai salad. Those are all like pre-designed, if you will. And so you can customize as you go along. And it's kind of like, if the chef recommends it, go with what the chef says, right? If not, you can build your own as well. So you can customize your bowls, your wraps, uh, anything you want in there. So we have probably about 50, 60 different ingredients and the world is your oyster as you come through the doors. So yeah, you'll go through the line, get everything, you'll watch them. We have these big, huge, they're about 10 or 12 inch mezzaluna blades. They chop the salad right there in front of you. So it's a chopped salad experience, mix your dressing in, and then you can go sit down at a table, take it to go, eat it outside, whatever you need. And uh, the flavor is delicious. I will say that if you're into salads or eating healthy, it doesn't have to be boring. It doesn't have to be, you know, tame and like a diet. This is, I mean, I'm, I'm addicted to them for sure. Yeah. Well, and we're going to come, I'm going to talk about this and link to people, so, uh, link to Green District so people go can go and see the menu. It's not just salads, it's bowls and wraps, as you mentioned. So there's a variety of options. And, Correct, uh, yeah. and uh, so let me ask you this while we're on it. You, you said, uh, you said Cobb salad or, or blue, it, none of the salads are uh, just that they have very clever names. Can you talk to us about? Yeah, we tried to, as we define our brand, um, I mean, we've been tweaking it as we grow. We've always wanted to be a little bit, I say from an English background, being a bit cheeky, a little bit more tongue in cheek, you know, not so serious, you know, so, uh, it's not on our menu anymore, but I think one of our favorites was you're my boy blue which was a blue cheese steak fresh, you know, uh, salad. And that was from the reference old school movie, just because we grew up with that stuff. Right. Uh, right. I think it was hilarious. I saw blueberry more on there and blueberry mills on there. Yeah. We got, uh, what else we got? We got, we've got some good ones out there. Yeah. Taiwan yeah. on is one that is very popular. Um, living on the veg is a new one. Right. Yeah. So just trying to be, you know, make it not so serious. Yeah. Yeah. Well, and you, you go to the website, you guys are doing a great job with your social media. There's a lot of fun there. It's it's a very it's not stuffy. Uh, exactly, it's colorful, right? And it should yes. be should people should be happy to see. It. I mean, I it's it's tough because when we go to a new market, obviously we have to explain who we are, what we are, and honestly, we do believe the food sells itself. Like once you see a bright picture of this salad, I mean, it's it's color. You can tell it's nutrients. You can tell it's fresh, and then if they try it, hopefully they have a great experience and it's delicious food. So then they come back for the ambiance or the customer service engagement or the rewards. We have really good rewards currently. So yeah, hopefully it's a, it's not just a, a new like restaurant and they go there and say, yeah, it was really nice. It's more of a, we're here for the everyday yeah. application. We want people to come back two or three times a week. Yeah. And it, and, it, and I mentioned to someone on your team, Hey, you, your food is very photogenic and you don't. Exactly. You yeah. Don't Those colors pop. They really are. Yeah. And if you think color equals nutrients, then you're in good shape. Yes, absolutely. Well, look, at the risk of offending you, and you've, you've answered a lot of this, but maybe we can tie a bow on it. Uh, and, and maybe you've heard this before, but if someone who says, hey, um, I, I can go get a salad anywhere, what, what makes Green District unique? I know that is a, a good question. And we was talking to someone the other day, um, and they were... Uh, I think they were GM, a, a, a nice uh, restaurant. And they said, they didn't know it was Green Dish, but they said, we won second best salad in in the city of Louisville, second year in a row. Green District wins it every year. You know, but they're a salad shop, so they should win it every year. So that's a given. But we're second best salad in the, in the and they didn't know anything to do with that we were Green District. I thought that was funny. And it's kind of, we specialize in salads. So we have the best salads. Yeah. I mean, we focus on it a thousand percent. And there's, there's such an array of taste, color, uh, dressings are phenomenal. They're all scratch made. You know, we, we hired uh, chef Rob Rice, he's from California. Um, he's been with us for about 18 months now and the tweaks that he's made and the improvement is just delicious. It really is. It's fresh ingredients. We know exactly where all that produce comes from and it's, it's super exciting for sure. Yeah, we're not just, a, it's not because most restaurants it's like an option. You know, they focus on steak, they focus on chicken, they focus on Italian or some kind of cuisine. And then they'll have a salad or two just because. 
yeah you know they might need it but no right. we specialize in them well and and if i'll just add my two cents from just just some of the research that i've done leading up to our interview today you might be able to get a salad someplace else but it's not what you're going to get at green district i mean it no, looks fresh and well thought out and and uh the the fresh concept there i think is the is the key yeah we have a specific person uh shelby actually she works for us she's excellent and she's a chef by trade as well but she's strictly called our greens keeper so she's in charge of making sure that all our produce every day is looking as fresh as it can be making sure that the the way it's prepped is perfect she's literally in charge of making sure that it's as fresh as it can get every single day and we work with the Hopefully we, we feel like we work with some of the best vendors around the country and some parts of different countries to get that fresh produce in. Yeah, absolutely. Well, you've it's got- It's not the, an afterthought. You know what I mean? Like this is what we, this is what we are proud of. This is what, it's not an afterthought. So that's, it's, it's, it's good. You're right, absolutely. Well, you've got the grand opening coming up in Jeffersonville. If you tell us a little bit about that, what kind of uh, giveaways and, and things that you might have for your grand opening. Yeah, definitely. So yes, yeah, so the grand opening is this Saturday um, and our location is just off that new development of Veterans Parkway um, in front of Hobby Lobby. Uh, I think our space is next to Spectrum and next to Nothing Bunt Cakes, which has been a great neighbor so far. Um, and this Saturday, yeah, come on down for some, um, the first hundred customers get a free salad and a free t-shirt. And they're also being entered in to win gift cards and one lucky winner. Whenever we're doing a, a grand opening, some lucky person wins free salads for a year. So that's kind of a good giveaway. Uh, and we'll have some other stuff. We'll have some face painting for kids and other games, uh, whether depending, there might be some outdoor activities, but it's going to be fun. This is our first Saturday grand opening. So we're wanting to make sure it's more friends, family, other local businesses pop in to say hello, networking, all that kind of stuff. So more of a party atmosphere for sure. Yeah. So we're excited, but yeah. It's going to be busy. Yeah, yeah, no doubt. Saturday grand opening, especially on Veterans Parkway. You, you guys have a great location. Uh, you guys have done a great job with the with the lead up and kind of keeping us informed in social media. So can't wait to see it all unfold for you. Uh, Chris Furlow, Green District grand opening this Saturday. Chris, we're going to link people to your to your website and and uh, your social media handles. So they can go and check you out and uh, hopefully push some people your way. Thank you so much for uh, joining us today and, and welcome to the 812. No, thank you so much, Mike. I sincerely appreciate you reaching out and taking the time to hear about Green District. And I look forward to uh, hearing your feedback on our salads and you got to try more, okay? Absolutely, absolutely, Chris. Talk to you soon. All right, Mike, take care, bye-bye. Hey, if you'd like to have updates on Southern Indiana events, news, and real estate information you can use delivered directly to your email inbox, visit us at 812living.com backslash blog. That's 812living.com backslash blog and sign up for alerts.